Dear viewers, immigration rules are frequently changing which is very important for migrant community and all of us. Why won't the world tackle the refugee crisis? Are the High Court judges under pressure by government policy? How deporting people silently? Why immigration detention center misbehaves with detainees? Is the immigration enforcement used by government lawfully? How immigrants are victim of domestic violence? What will be the UK relationship with the European Union after Brexit? Fear spreads. Protests across the world. We should know the reality. I try to collect all the latest immigration news regularly. If you like this video please stay with us to follow my Facebook page and YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comments, subscribe and share with your friends. Let's go to the news. Counter-protests are happening in Croydon today over immigration. Two separate rallies are due to take place in Croydon this afternoon with one group protesting over immigration and another sending out a message that immigrants are welcome. 7 in 10 think Theresa May will not hit target on slashing immigration. Nearly 7 in 10 people do not believe Theresa May will meet her pledge to cut immigration below 100,000. At the same time, most people think Britain should continue to welcome many European workers whose services are in high demand after Brexit, including care home staff, fruit pickers and software experts. Prosecutors drop rape charges against two illegal immigrant teens accused of sodomizing a 14-year-old girl in a school bathroom. Henry Sanchez Millian, 18, and his co-defendant Jose Montano, 17, had rape charges against them dropped due to lack of evidence Friday. <laughs> Borders still open. Theresa May forced to keep unlimited EU immigration until 2022 because post-Brexit system will take years, think tank claims. The Institute for Government said the enormity of the task meant implementation by April 2019 was completely unfeasible. Theresa May will have to allow unlimited EU immigration until 2022 because a new border system will take years, a think tank claims. UK Immigration Rules versus the Best Interests of Children the UK Supreme Court has accepted the principle of a minimum income requirement for bringing family members into Britain, but hope remains for British families split by borders. For thousands of British citizens and residents separated from loved ones by immigration rules, headlines after the Supreme Court decision on the 22nd of February 2017 in the case were disappointing. One, the case concerned rights of non-nationals to join British spouses or partners in the UK and the minimum income requirement (MIR) that the sponsor earns £18,600 a year or has substantial savings with more needed for dependent non-citizen children. Immigration and skills will be key to success of next UK government. Tory think tank rounds on May over pledge to cut net migration to below 100,000. Group is backed by a total of 140 Conservative MPs and peers. A leading conservative think tank has urged Theresa May to drop the government's target to reduce net migration when the party issues its general election manifesto. Rebellious conservative think tank urges Theresa May to scrap migration cap promise. A conservative think tank backed by 140 Tory MPs and peers has turned on Theresa May's pledge top cut net migration to below 100,000. EU immigration likely to continue for some years after Brexit. Whitehall think tank says it is unfeasible to fully create and implement a new immigration policy by the end of the two-year Article 50 deadline, 
European Union citizens will be free to come to the UK for several years after Brexit despite repeated promises from Leave campaigners that restrictions would be swiftly introduced, a Whitehall think tank has found. UKIP is finished as an electoral force says biggest donor Aaron Banks after local election wipeout. The UK Independence Party is finished as an electoral force, the party's biggest donor said yesterday, saying it needed a strategic bullet to the back of the head after its catastrophic local election defeat. Nigel Farage, Carswell stopping UKIP becoming radical anti-immigration party. Former leader says MP is trying to turn UKIP into mainstream party with bland message and rules out a peerage. UKIP's former leader Nigel Farage has accused the party's only MP of preventing it from becoming a radical anti-immigration party. Giving migrants and refugees in London a place to stay. Madeline Church on the role played by Housing Justice's London Hosting Network. A homeless person sleeping rough in a doorway in London. It was heartbreaking and profoundly depressing to read about Paradzoncomo's terrible experience, living in limbo, G2, for May. What a shocking waste of talent, and a total disregard for women's potential and what they can offer, wherever they come from. Asylum Limbo, the woman who can't stay in Britain, but can't leave either. When she applied for asylum in Britain it was refused. And when she applied to return home, that was rejected too. Zimbabwean Paradzan Como describes how her quest for freedom turned into a 15-year nightmare. Paradzan Como's email description of her situation is succinct and shocking. She is Zimbabwean and has been in Britain for 15 years. First her application for asylum was rejected and then her request to be deported home was also refused, leaving her stuck in limbo. May expected to challenge rights of EU citizens to bring family to Britain. EU negotiation guidelines put Brussels and London on collision course over issue of non-European spouses after Brexit. The government wants restrictions that apply to British citizens, including a minimum income threshold, to be extended to EU nationals. Four illegal workers found at Trowbridge Restaurant. A restaurant in Trowbridge may have to pay an £80,000 fine after immigration enforcement officers found four illegal workers on the premises. The Cinnamon Lounge in Silver Street was visited by officers on Saturday, where a 29-year-old and a 31-year-old were detained pending removal from the UK, and an 18-year-old and a 59-year-old were ordered to report to immigration enforcement as their cases continue. Restaurant manager Mohammed Hussain said he is devastated after making an honest mistake. EU states consider deporting refugees back to Iraq. The European Union's EU member states are currently carrying out discussions on forcibly deporting Iraqi refugees to their home country, an EU official revealed yesterday. Speaking at a press conference yesterday in Baghdad, the EU ambassador to Iraq, Patrick Simonet, explained that the EU held a meeting on Wednesday during which member states addressed the issue of forcing Iraqi refugees, currently dwelling in EU countries, to return to their homeland. Marine Le Pen vs Emmanuel Macron, where do they stand on immigration and the EU? French voters have only two days to decide if Marine Le Pen or Emmanuel Macron will get their vote, but where do the two candidates stand on immigration and the EU? Marine Le Pen on immigration Ems Le Pen has taken a strong stance on immigration since the start of her election campaign. The former Front National leader has vowed to take back France's borders and end free movement within the Sengen zone. At an elections rally in April, Ms. Le Pen told the gathered people, I will protect you. My first measure as president will be to reinstate France's borders. Emmanuel Macron on immigration in stark contrast to his opponent, Mr. Macron does not see France shut off from immigration in the future. Mr. Macron would rather implement integration programs that would teach foreigners about the French language and culture. 
His manifesto also outlines a six-month-long processing time for asylum seekers looking for refuge in France. The former finance minister also plans to reduce the time required to obtain a talent visa, a visa that allows skilled workers to work in France based on their profession. But despite this, Mr Macron has addressed plans to strengthen the borders with an additional 5,000 guards and people denied entry would not be allowed to linger within the borders anymore. Police have arrested almost 20 people in connection with the death of a Syrian refugee. 23-year-old Ibrahim Asmail was found dead in the street outside Raxo Shisha Lounge in Digbeth, Birmingham a week before last Christmas. His inquest scheduled for Tuesday, 2 May, was delayed as police said officers were still investigating. Independence is the only way to fix UK's cruel visa system, says father fighting to stay in Scotland facing deportation. An American man living in the Highlands with his Scottish wife and daughter, and who is at the centre of a visa battle with the Home Office, says nothing will change until Scotland is independent and able to decide its own immigration policy. They say we don't pay taxes, undocumented taxpaying migrants living in the UK. Geraldine Suomadiku argues for effective means to make undocumented migrants become documented in the UK, as the state is benefiting from them despite not officially recognizing them. Business chiefs tell Theresa May, scrap immigration targets, we need foreign workers. Theresa May has been told to scrap a pledge to cut immigration to tens of thousands in her general election manifesto, as a poll found most Britons think the plan would fail. Investigation launched at Indian restaurant amid concerns over immigration checks. An Indian restaurant is being probed by council bosses after police raised concerns over a lack of immigration checks on workers. Colchester Council is reviewing the license of RML in Station Road, Tiptree. It comes after Essex police lodged fears with the council over the establishment not carrying out right-to-work checks on employees. A spokesman for Colchester Council confirmed it was a joint operation and comments could still be submitted. He said, the review application is submitted by Essex police to look at issues under the prevention of crime and disorder. Romanian rapist, 27, who laughed at his terrified victim as she begged him to stop brutal sex attack is jailed for six years. A Romanian immigrant who bit and laughed at his victim as he raped her will likely be deported after serving a six-year jail term. Thirteen suspects including barmaid, 19, appear in court to deny their involvement in a brutal attack that left a teenage Kurdish-Iranian asylum seeker fighting for life. Rika Ahmed, 17, was set on by a group of youths while waiting at a bus stop with two friends outside the Goat Pub in Croydon, South London. The Kurdish Iranian was chased for around 100 yards into an estate before he punched and kicked on a roundabout outside a nursery. Rika, who had arrived unaccompanied in the UK a few months earlier, was left with a fractured spine and eye socket and a blood clot on his brain following the attack on Friday, March 31st. Thank you for stay with me. See you in the next video.